Wow! <laughs> Thank you. That feel, bud? Oh. Yeah. Natural selection. Final stop. Uh, it was my first time back in Alaska since the Union movie, Stronger. Um, and my first run of the trip, I pop an avalanche. Oh my glob. Getting it. Yeah. Abby! Off to a great start. Now, this was actually, um, it was really small avalanche and, and it was kind of good for us and good for the whole crew to see that because the slope we were on for the warm-up run was very similar to the aspect we were riding for the contest. And it just kind of gave us a little bit of what to expect. And uh, if that was the worst thing that would happen as far as snow moving, that wasn't too bad at all. And yeah, uh, people, people asked me if I was nervous for the contest and whatnot. Uh, and I got to say, not really at all. I think at that point of the season, we're all so warmed up that the riding part of it is just what it is. It, it can't get really any better at that point. Um, I was actually more, way more nervous for the snow camping. <laughs> Give me a breakdown of what's happening. Dude, we just showed up to the airfield. We're about to go on a freaking glacier. And uh, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I got puffy pants, so it should be good. It's hard to do. puffy pants. We all have puffy pants. So it's good. Everything, everything's puffy. Are we on the moon right now? Wow. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> so, snow camping. I don't know if that's something people assume or not, if you're like a backcountry snowboarder that you've done that a lot and have a ton of experience, but I certainly did not have any. And I was really nervous about wondering if I was gonna be able to sleep at all. Um, but it was really sweet. They, they provided us with tents and sleeping bags that were like rated for negative 20 or something like that. The whole compound was super legit. Our buddy Ryan Cruz had been out there setting up camp with his team for a couple weeks before, I think. Um, setting all the tents, the rider tent, uh, the chefs. We had two chefs out there cooking food. And the slightly larger sort of, they called it the rider tent, had a, a heater in it and a little carpet. And we're all hanging out there during the daytime. It was really nice. But when it came to nighttime, we were definitely in it. It was, it was cold. All right, welcome to Alaska and Camp, uh, Camp Rad Sausage. Soggy Bottom. Soggy Bottom. We got Ryan Cruz right here. He's kind of in charge of the whole uh, compound, if you will, or the hotel. 
Welcome yeah. to our home. <laughs> My hotel room is right back here. With the amenities. It's nice and cozy. A little chilly in the morning. A bit nibbly. A little bit. It was super cool. And we were staged right underneath the venue of the contest, which was really sweet. So we got to like look at what we were going to ride the whole time. Uh, we were out there for three nights and it was just a crazy experience. Um, obviously, we hadn't been on course before other than Travis and the riders who were part of the AK stop last year. But we got a huge help from Gab 707, our drone pilot. He gave us some course previews because he flew up and down with his FPV drone and then gave us the footage to sort of like study the lines and everything. And that was super helpful as well. It just didn't feel at all like a contest. Uh, it was more just like one big family on the glacier hanging out, doing a super rad event, dropping in and just getting zapped into a flow state that's just indescribable to me. It was amazing. This terrain is something I dream about. If I dream about snowboarding, this is like, this is what it is that pops up in the dream. It's just fantasy land. And being able to ride it and watch the best in the world ride it in perfect conditions is already so far beyond winning. And for me, getting on the podium was never something that I had to achieve. Um, not even counting the tricks. I, I got the best run of my life out there, hands down. And this trip is something I'll, I'll never forget. Huge thanks to Travis and the crew for the vision and making this whole thing happen because this is a once in a lifetime experience for me and I, um, <laughs> I really hope we get to do it again.
Yeah.